Ever wonder how some communities stuck in a tough economic cycle can break free? Yeah, it's like, uh... We're diving into that today. Okay. Using education and inclusivity as tools for change. Sounds good. We've got some interesting source material for this one. Oh, It's more like a behind-the-scenes peek. Right. It's notes maybe for an interview with, like, a community leader. Mm. Or someone who really gets how this stuff works. Interesting. They focus on a question that kind of sums up this whole idea. What's that? How could a better education transform communities that are, you know, economically fragile? Economically fragile? Yeah. What does that even mean for folks living it every day? Well, think about a town, let's say. Okay. Where the only factory shut down years ago, jobs are scarce opportunities. Right. Hope okay. starts to right. dwindle. That's a snapshot of economic fragility. People want to thrive, but... The whole system seems stacked against them. Okay, that totally makes sense. Yeah. So where do education and inclusivity come in? How can they turn things around? Imagine that same town. But now there's a program teaching people skills that are in high demand, like computer coding healthcare. Yeah, something relevant exactly. to today's job market. Exactly. Suddenly people have a path to earning a good living. They can support their families. They can invest back into their community. That's amazing. That's the power of education tailored to real needs. Right. It's about giving people tools they can use, Absolutely. not just Absolutely. abstract knowledge. It's got to be practical. And inclusivity. I'm guessing that's about making sure everyone has a shot at these opportunities. Exactly. It's about knocking down those barriers that prevent people from reaching their full potential. Think about programs that offer child care transportation assistance. Oh, wow. Classes in multiple languages. That's huge. When you remove those obstacles, you open doors for a much wider range of people. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This whole better education thing really got me thinking. Yeah. What does that even look like in this context? Right. Is it about fancier schools or just having enough textbooks? It's got to be bigger than that. It's about relevance and adaptability. Maybe better education means vocational training that aligns with what local businesses need. Oh, interesting. Or programs that teach critical thinking, problem-solving skills that are valuable no matter what you're doing. Right. Those are important everywhere. It could even mean financial literacy courses. Yeah. Empowering people to manage their money, build a more secure future. Wow. I'm really starting to see how all these pieces fit together. Yeah. But how do we know if it's working? Well... Is it just about higher salaries? You're on the right track. It's got to be about more than just dollars and cents. Okay. You look for things like lower crime rates. Oh, wow. Increased civic engagement, even improvements in overall health and well-being. That's incredible. Those are all indicators that a community is becoming more resilient, more empowered. Yeah, this has been eye-opening. Mm -hmm. It feels like we just got to scratch the surface of a really... It's a huge... Very complex, huge topic. But important issue. Yeah, absolutely. It is a complex issue, but one that's full of hope and potential. This little peek into a possible interview has sparked a much bigger conversation about how we invest in communities and create a more equitable future for everyone. So if you were designing this educational program, what would be your top priorities? Food for thought, everyone. Yeah. Think about it. What would your ideal program look like?